Out of your bed, out of your, out of your shampoo, out of your, out of your rivers of living water, out of your, out of your oh yeah, living water. Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women. Again, we're excited that you've joined us for a journey through the Word of God. I need to remind you once again, Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. My question to you tonight is do you have life and life more abundantly? Hmm. The Word of God has promised you that you could have that kind of life. Our co-host, Apostle J. Edward Fisher, Pastor Saints in Acapulco, Cove, and Colleen. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And we must, uh, well, life is only in Jesus. And uh, we must make Jesus the Lord of our lives. Uh, he's Savior, but he's got to be Lord too. Absolutely, absolutely. I am excited tonight. The text is coming from Matthew 16 and 19. Mm -hmm. And here is the promise that God has given those who are believers. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Apostle, when I read this text, it is the gift of God to the born again believer that gives that individual the opportunity to have authority to govern their own lives according to the Word of God. Hmm. He gives you the ability to have heaven to back up your proclamations and prophecies concerning the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Well, praise the name of the Lord. You know, heaven's got his eye on the whole world. And so um, if we're going to um, be all right, we're going to have to really work with heaven. And heaven will work with us too. Absolutely. Notice the text says, whatsoever thou, giving reference to the possessor of the keys, whatsoever he or she does, the kingdom of heaven will back it up. So often we watch others get blessed and we envy what is happening in other people's lives, not knowing that embracing the promise and releasing faith is what manifests the blessing in our own life. Apostle, we have to give full attention to what has been promised in our own lives rather than being envious of those that appear to be progressing in life. Yeah, and, and there's no reason why we should be envious or, or jealous, praise the name of the Lord. Um, God has given to every man exactly what um, uh, he should have and what he can do in his ability. And um, uh, so uh, we just need to find out what it is that God wants us to do and focus on that. Absolutely. It is the will of God. It is the plan of God mm -hmm. that every man and every woman be blessed according to the promises of God's word. Mm -hmm. Every promise of God is fulfilling, refreshing, and meets the entire need of man. Yes, your need can be met through obedience and faith in the promises of God's word. The record of Proverbs 10 and 22 says, the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich, mm -hmm. and it adds no sorrow with it. But watch the instructions, Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Ask, and it shall be given you. Mm -hmm. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone that acts receive it, and he that seek it find it. And to him that knock it, the door shall be opened. Now, this is not a prosperity message, but this is the promise of a father's love for his children. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. And um, <laughs> it's just like I'm almost writing a blank check, though. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, but we have not because we ask not. 
and we, we don't find because we don't seek and we don't stay around for the door to be open. <laughs> I, I, absolutely. We have to have a mentality to get what belongs to us. But the inheritance of the saints of God is not to someone that's just been born into the earth. But the inheritance of the saints of God is for those that have been born again. All right. Those that have been filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost and those that have yielded themselves over to the obedience of God's word. Need I remind you of Romans 12 and 1. Paul says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, mm -hmm. that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. In times like these, we need to yield ourselves over to what God has promised, and That's he right. has promised us life and life more abundantly. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And you know, um, this the, the fashion of this world is passing away, Bishop. So uh, we've got to focus on, watch this here, um, um, grasping uh, this great salvation that has everything we need, but to, to be part of this world and everything like that, that's gonna pass away. And uh, we, can't, we can't afford that. And so uh, um, uh, we have to give our souls over to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your, your, your mind is in your soul. And, and it's the soul that's the most important thing. And so what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Absolutely. In that, we must conclude that we must allow ourselves to be shepherded. Mm -hmm. We must allow ourselves to be led. This is a mean, cruel, dark, unforgiving world. If you make the wrong choice, if you make the bad choice, there are consequences in this life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those consequences are irreversible. And so therefore, in the hour which we live now, we must allow ourselves to be shepherd. Here is what David said in the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd mm -hmm. and I shall not want. If I'm not wanting, then it's difficult for me to be tempted. If I'm not being tempted, glory to God, then my focus could be on what God has promised me. Mm -hmm. So look at what the record says. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures, lead me beside still waters. Look at the provision that God gives. Mm -hmm. He restored my soul. When I get weary, when I get worn, he restores my soul. He leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Understand that. He is leading me in the right choices. He's leading me down the right roads. Then he says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I may dwell where? In the house of the Lord, in the comfort of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord, in the safety of the Lord. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. What a, what a, what a great heritage. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, that um, in the end, if we stay with the Lord, it's certainly going to be all right. Absolutely. So one of the things that I want you to wrap your mind around tonight is this, that if you really want to operate in the keys or with the keys that God has given the born again believer, mm. then one must stop looking at the past and look at the potential. The potential of overcoming and becoming great. Remember the record, uh, Apostle, when he says, he came to his own and his own received him not. Mm -hmm. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become. Mm -hmm. To become what? Sons of God. Mm -hmm. We have the potential to be sons of God. What does that mean? That means to be spiritual. That means to be powerful. That means to be a victor. Mm -hmm. And also that means to have the same love that he loved Jesus with to be on us too. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. And so um, 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 
what can what can we say? Praise the name of the Lord. What a what a what a relationship uh, uh, God is bringing us into. Not just not just delivered people, but sons of God. <laughs> Absolutely, and and what I love about the Word of God is that Amen. He takes you from beginning to end. Mm. In Zechariah 4 and 10, he says, do not despise these small beginnings, mm -hmm. for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Don't worry about where you've been and don't worry about what has happened. If you can get your focus off the past and look at the potential, God will start with right where we are and walk us into the promises of God. Yeah, and you know, in Ecclesiastes, I think you can find out that it says the end is better than the beginning. Yes, praise and, and that's what we're looking. It doesn't make any difference where you've been, it's where you're going. Absolutely. So have you wrapped your mind around the potential of overcoming all of the things that you may be going through right now and the potential of being great? To be great is to be able to operate in the power of God. Remember what he says in Luke uh, 19. He says, Behold, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. And mm -hmm. paraphrasing. So in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9, Apostle, he says, The eyes of the Lord roam to and fro mm -hmm. over all the earth to show himself strong on the behalf of those whose heart is fully devoted to him. Mm -hmm. What is he talking about here? Well, praise the name of the Lord. You know, uh, God is, 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 has searched all throughout the earth looking for that heart. See, he's a God that look it upon the heart. We tend to, enjoy, we tend to judge by uh, our circumstances, outward appearance, but not God. God looking on the heart and he finds the heart of that man that is really devoted to him. People may look like they're devoted, but watch this here. But uh, you can't fool God because God look it up on the heart. Absolutely. When David came to the place where he had been convicted by the word of God, mm -hmm. he went before God in Psalms 51 and he said against you and you only have I sinned. Mm -hmm. And then he began to ask God to create in him a clean heart mm -hmm. and to renew in him a right, right spirit and to take not the Holy Spirit from him. Mm -hmm. David understood that he needed to have the heart of God mm -hmm. to be able to overcome and become great in God. Yeah, well, you know what? God does definitely respond to repentance. I mean, if you repent, praise the name of the Lord, the Bible says God will abundantly pardon, but you've got to have a repentant heart. And David had that repentant heart. Oh, he messed up, but praise the name of the Lord. But, but God still terms this man as a man after God's own heart. Absolutely. My question to you tonight is do you have the heart of God? Mm. Do you really want to be with God? Do you really want to live for God? Mm -hmm. Do you really want the glory of God up on your life? Or are you okay with where you are, struggling and, and battling and the arguments of your mind? When you look at Hosea 6 and 3, then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall come unto us as the rain the latter and the former rain mm -hmm. unto the earth. And then Daniel picks it up in 11 and 32, the B portion says, but the people that do know their God, apostle, they shall be strong mm -hmm. and they shall do great exploits. Yeah, amen. We're praising them. When you're linked up uh, with God, it's just, and, and God is able to work through your life, inevitable, we're going to see things that we know that uh, coming from that person is not just natural, but divine. Absolutely. So I challenge you tonight that if you go back to the Word of God, mm -hmm. if, if we get away from the gimmicks and, 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 and the tricks and, Come on and, and, and all of these things and go back and pick up the Word of God and walk out the Word of God, mm -hmm. what a mighty experience we're going to have. 
listen at this little statistic that I peeled out for you. This little small Bible contains 66 books, 1,189 chapters, 31,102 verses, mm -hmm. and each word of God, each single word of God, are the words to potential eternal life. Mm. You can live forever if you embrace the word of God. Look at Joshua 1 and 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. Mm -hmm. For therein thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Apostle, if we could just embrace the potential of being great, we could overcome a lot of the things that we've done in our lives. Yeah. Well, you know, you started off and you said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And then I think in Psalms 130, uh, it says that God magnified his word above his name. Mm -hmm. So if the word of God can be to us as it is to God and God lives by his own word, uh, 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 just think where it would take us. Actually, that's our, that's our really connection with God is his word. That's why uh, Romans 12 says, be not conformed to the world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind uh, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's the, that's the word of God. And then 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect. Yes. Pray and remember you just said that God's eyes run to and fro looking for that heart that is perfect or devoted toward him. You're so absolutely right about that. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand tonight mm. with God? Where do you stand tonight in your faith? in your obedience to the Word of God. It is faith in His death, burial, and resurrection that creates that potential. So if you embrace potential, let's see what that looks like. In 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, mm -hmm. believe in the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. Believe in the prophet, and so shall you prosper. The enemy the warfare of Satan is to cause disbelief in God mm -hmm. and disbelief in his prophet. <laughs> Glory to God. And that's why we are to now. That's why you see so much devastation appearing to be happening in the church. But let me make this perfectly clear to you tonight. It is not the church that is being devastated. It is not, glory to God, the promises of God that are falling apart. It is those that are in the gathering that are pretending to be men and women of God. It is those, glory to God, that have not embraced the truth concerning God's word. Because he said, upon this rock, I will build my church and mm -hmm. the gates of hell shall not prevail. The church is not flawed. The church is not falling. The church is not weak. It is the gathering and those that pretend to be men and women of God. God says, amen, the gates of hell shall not prevail. So I give you the keys of the kingdom. And when you are born again believer and possess the keys of the kingdom, you can decree and declare and heaven will back you up. So don't be deceived. It is not the church that's fallen. Glory to God is those that are confessing to have, but not the power of the most high God. Yeah. Well, you know what? We think that so many things are going wrong in this world, but actually um, things are not falling apart, Bishop. They're falling in line. Absolutely. Just like the word says. Absolutely. The record of Jude says, 
Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, mm -hmm. it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. That faith of the old saints was the preaching about God through the prophets. Mm. The prophets decreed and declared God. Now again, I, again, I have to highlight this, man, that true men and women of God stand in divine anointing and declare the truth concerning God's word. Do not be deceived. Do not be overtaken in your mind to believe that the church of God, amen, the infallible word of God, the militant church of God has fallen out of place. Apostle just made it clear. Everything is falling in place and God is revealing that which is not true. He's revealing to that which is not real, but the authentic church, God is coming back for that church without spot or wrinkle. Yeah. And praise the name of the Lord. Make no mistake about it. God is still in control. Praise the Absolutely. name of the Lord. That's why the Lord tells us in everything, give thanks. Watch this here. We may, uh, and, and, and uh, we, were, we were preaching from uh, Isaiah 55 Sunday, and uh, it really says that my ways are not your ways, sure. and as the heavens are high above the earth, so are my ways above your ways. And so uh, sometimes we mistake God's ways as, as other ways, but actually God is in control, and God has an agenda. And God uh, keeps his agenda. Praise the name of the Lord. And nobody and no, nothing is going to take God off of his agenda. So uh, he put it one up. He take it another down. Watch this here. God can use even uh, the wrong of this world, but he's going to keep his agenda. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so God is in control. And um, right. uh, uh, he still sits in heaven uh, sitting high and looking low. <laughs> Absolutely. This is why you must embrace the potential mm -hmm. because the word of God does not fail. That's right. The preaching of God's word is power and demonstration Come on now. of the Holy Ghost. The preaching of God's word convicts the hearts and minds of men to repentance, mm -hmm. proclaiming his miracles and blessings that he has for the believer. But the acquiring of these blessings was by consistent faith and obedience in God's word. My beloved, don't be deceived. Mm -hmm. There are people that are standing in truth. There are people that are believing God's word. There are people that are being healed, delivered, and set free. The power was given to us so that we could maintain our joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. So here is what it looks like. Galatians 5 and 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. The potential of being just like him, the keys of authority, but acquired through the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. It's essential to have the Holy Ghost. It's essential to be born again. Mm -hmm. It's essential to have enough faith to trust God's written word. Yeah, and here's our, uh, uh, here is our herald. Now unto him yes, sir. that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. And everybody says, amen. Amen. That was my <laughs> next scripture. <laughs> it's taking a new perspective on life, stepping out of the cycles of defeat that Satan has us living in, mm -hmm. dismissing the pain and the sickness and the poverty. It is not for his glory, then it must be cast down. We must get close enough to give attention to our situation. Yeah. When you take a new perspective, here is one of the new perspectives. I will not be afraid to be different. Psalms 139 and 14. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and they my soul knoweth right well. 
Who are you? You're a chosen generation, mm -hmm. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him that have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. All right. I will not be afraid to be blessed. Glory to God. That's the new perspective you got to take this year. I'm not afraid to be blessed. Deuteronomy 28 and 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou wilt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. One more and you can jump in. My new perspective is I will stand firm that God does answer prayer. First Chronicles 4 and 10. Jabez called out to the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Praise the name of the Lord. And I guess uh, I, I have to look forward to the fact that I will hold to my confession of faith. Yes. For he is faithful that promise. Amen. <laughs> my perspective, whatever I need, God has it and is able to perform it. You know my favorite scripture, Ephesians 3 and 20. Mm -hmm. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. It is the keys of the kingdom that gives us the victory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in Colossians 2 and 10, it says we are complete in him. We're, we're in a great salvation. Everything we need, why this here and uh, on, uh, is in this great salvation that God has wrought through Jesus Christ. We, uh, you know, in the in the vernacular of Louisiana, it says we got it made in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're living in such perilous times. Mm -hmm. It's true there is trouble on every side. It's true we're being attacked from the enemy. He's trying to wear out the saints. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make us believe that God is not real and that God doesn't love us and that God would not rescue us. But you and I both know that that is not true. Hmm. You and I both know that if a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he can see the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it is joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And when you get the Holy Ghost, you shall have power. And you know what he says about the power. You got the last 30 seconds. Well, praise the name of the Lord. You know, we must go on. Uh, the apostle Paul and all of the apostles and all of the early fathers and everything was emphatically uh, uh, constantly making sure that the people of God uh, were endowed with power from on high. And even Jesus told uh, the fathers, he said, uh, don't go anywhere, don't preach, don't do anything until you be endued with power from on high. Because watch this here, this life is about power. Absolutely. Have you received the power? Mm -hmm. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? believe? Join us in any of our services for a life-changing experience. How do you bear your, 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 your